Well, welcome back everybody. I'm certain we're going to play some more Harvestella. I'm excited because we... I, mean, I say that every time we play, but I am still so excited. This game has been so much fun. Still so much left to do. We've been getting so much done. Alright, nothing new going on there. Let's see here. Alright, let's head outside and see what's going on. Mail. So much I wish to tell you, says Shakir. This may have come to sudden surprise, but I have decided to be an inaugurated as matriarch. Well, you already told me this. Of the Seas Light Order. This was the first step on my path as I walk alongside the Holy Mother. There is still so much else I wish to speak with you about. Would you please visit me at the temple when you have time? I'll be waiting. Rosny's true intentions. Rosny has been in contact again. She oh, is. Rosny is a she. Okay. Says she'll be. She'll tell us the truth behind what's going. she's been doing. I guess it looks like the organization is still going. We'll continue down the road. I've chosen Rosny. The organization. I'll deal with all of it. I'm going to meet Rosny at Norch Step. Please meet me there. Absurd in my thought, I would never find a way to thank you for all the help, but I finally did. I'll show your story, the story of my dearest friend, who saved the sirens. Who saved me. I didn't, I'm pretty sure I didn't save any sirens. Thank you for everything. Oh, whatever. Let's go collect our things. Smoked eggs are done. New friends to meet. Um, beans to harvest. Potatoes to harvest. Okay, just, just the potatoes, I guess. That's alright. It's a corn land. Corn people now. Alright, let's put things away. It's where we are. Really surprised I didn't fill everything up. Can we not do anything with the chestnuts? We can't, we can't do anything with them. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. They're just, they just exist. A nutritious vegetable. Is it? One smoked egg. That's a fair amount of health. Excited by a characteristic smell. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a good thing. That's what these other things away. We've got another monolith. Sorry, monolite fragment. I keep calling them monoliths, but they're monolites. Hopefully our way to another sprinkler soon. Alright, let's go visit the animals. Feels pretty good. These guys must be freaked out when I just come hurling over a fence like that at them. Did I kill that feed? Yes, I did. Okay. Can't remember if I hit the right combination of buttons or not. I think we got a fair amount from them today. Excellent stuff. See what else we need here. Anything else from this pile? I don't believe so. By pile, obviously, I mean page. Perfect. Wait, no, I only need nine. I need ten of you. Oh, there's some cat drama going on right now. This cat's trying to make two seats. Or I should say, make a one seat. A two seat. Don't bite them. Hey, don't bite them. They can fit. They just have to snuggle. There's video evidence at the end of each video I make. Or picture evidence. Them both fitting in the seat. They can do it. They just have to love each other. Just, you know, obviously the problem. What else am I missing? Those. And then I took... Too many of you, I think. Oh, 
How did I do that? Nobody knows. Let's take two though. One for this guy, and one for that guy. What other things we could really plant right now? So it's not. Oh, nope, these guys. Just a disorganized mess as well. Let's forget that one. All right. I think the coconuts should be ready. As well as the rest of the things we planted starting to uh, sprout up a bit. Those guys away. Do our usual mining over here. Not the mana light pieces I was hoping for. If we could go get some more planted there. If we really wanted. See what we can sell here. Like 10 in the morning so far. I think really everything we're missing is stuff from spring. More oil eggplants. Hmm. I wouldn't hate planting another 29 of those. This we should get. Pumpkins, it's too late to plant more of. Eggplants. Eight days. I think those are one of the ones that we just keep reharvesting, though. Uh, did I not plant enough of those? Embarrassed. I think I definitely should have been more on top of it. Ready harvest in seven days. Oh shoot. So not only would I not break even. Because I think that each one only sells for 480. And it only grows in the fall. I hate to do it, but I think we need to spend the 16 grand. get one harvested out of them, which means we'll, we won't make back what we spent, which really sucks. However, uh, any gold ones that we get might be helpful. It just thinks we should have, we should looked in that earlier and planted it. Oh, we, we do have bigger farm sizes. Okay. I don't, I just couldn't imagine needing that much, but okay. Hey, what do I know? I'm going to farm and get these planted before I forget. Oh, I kind of feel dumb. Because even if a couple days ago we could have maybe got two out of them and at least broken even. I suppose that is just how it goes. So 
It's a giant tree in my way. There we go. guys just watch this probably still won't be enough but hey, at least we could say we try since there's no like greenhouse mechanic to let you grow things year round at least not that we know of it's all right it's just money we'll make more so the Norse stuff here it's going to be up this side. As it was last time. Yeah. Don't worry, I brought my boom boom stick. So we're going to be just fine. We got some dress lettuce seats. Fantastic. I don't know what I'll use them for, but... Leaves. All right, nice. It's, it's really cool to get double, double from that now. Sirazi, are you ready to tell us what your real motives were? It's to get closer to you. It's okay, Stina. You don't need to put up your guard. Pretty much done most of what I set out to do already. And what do you mean? I was looking for you. Why? My real plan was to find you so that I could pass on Chief's will. So when I met you and Arjean, I had already done half that job. So you mean he's... He passed away a few months ago. Sadly, not even a hard veteran like him could escape old age. I see. The chief has died. He explained things to me on his deathbed. He made it seem like you were dead. Why would you think that? He just disappeared one day without saying a word to anybody. So the chief explained it to us by saying that you got struck by one of the traitors during the fight. Everyone's memory of that day is all jumbled. So we just took his word for it. We all believed you were dead. Why would he make that up? To let you get away. If we found out that you'd left, we would have to kill you. Those were the rules. I guess it explains why none of you showed up until now. So he was protecting me? Yeah, exactly. So why did he tell you the truth after all this time? Well, that's obvious. Because you were important to him. Huh? That's what he told me. He said that his life changed the day he took you in as his own. Until then, all he had known was how to take away another person's life. But you taught him how to care for someone and wish for their happiness. I have no idea if she's like 20 or like 50. What's this? It's a letter from the Chief. His will's in there too. I don't know how you feel about him. But I'd hope you'd at least read his letter. It wouldn't hurt to read it. Sort of. It's not really my place to say that. I'll read it. I wonder where you are now reading this letter. Are you still living in the shadows of our dark, blood-stained world? Or are you living somewhere peaceful and light, free from bloodshed? I don't know which one you would have made you happier, but it wouldn't change a thing. Hate me for it if you wish. In the end, I wasn't good enough to be a real parent to you. So letting you go was the least I could do. I could tell from how much you loved reading your books that you wanted to be somewhere else. I hope now that you're free to read as many books as you want. She does with the kids, oh my god. Nothing would make me happier than that. Because, while you might not feel the same way to me, you're my precious daughter. That's the end. His precious daughter. Why didn't he tell me this earlier? My feelings? Of course. He just liked me. He's just like me. I've been holding on to 
to information too. I think now I can understand how he was feeling. I'm sorry I couldn't even come to say goodbye to you. Some daughter I am. Thanks to you. I now get to read books to some very special people. So, thank you, Dad. Uh, I think we're done here, so I'm going to head home. I was planning on bringing you back to us thinking you were the same. Same as Sina that I knew from before. But it doesn't look like that will be necessary. Unlike before, you now have people to, close to support you. You have a place to go back to. A place to fend. A place where you belong. Rosny. It's okay, Big Sis. I'm sure you'll do great. Well then, this is goodbye. What are you going to go do now? To be honest, the gang is the only... It's only hanging on by a thread at the moment. That's why I wanted to bring you back so you could rebuild together. But it looks like that won't happen. So I'm going to try to follow my heart, like you. I see. Wish you the best. Gang of assassins and murderers. Please look out for Estina for me. Well, I already told you everything now. I'll be on my way. Thank you. Stay safe. You too? It's all over. Are you okay with just letting her go? Yes, this is how it should be. We each go our separate ways and forge our own paths. Anyways, let's head back. Generation to generation. Just one more. More zombie mushrooms, which is great, I guess. We got 20% bonus to critical hit. Seems really strong. But I don't like having high in the party. It's like bonus to murder, but... Jeez, at least. Alright, so who else do we have? Uh, oh. Their job? Really? It's... Strange. Three sage damage. Okay, well. Can't argue that. Flower girl. Uh, let's go to the cherry blossom guy. Where is he? Uh, putting more sap. Oh, he's actually in town. Okay. Strange. I really wouldn't have expected that. do with one dress. Let us see. That's so strange. Is this something I can plant year-round? I can plant it now, then. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to do that, but I suppose I could. Thank you for coming, sir. Like I said, my letter I asked to tell them to meet here in Nemia. Talk. You were able to reach her? Yeah, it took a while, though. Started with Heaven's Egg and then circled places I thought she might be. I think she'll be here any minute. I'm here, at Azel. Tello, thank you for coming. Well, you went to such lengths to find me. Surprised you were willing to enter Heaven's Egg alone. I see you came alone too. You have to mind your manners. There is no need to bring them. Well, what's so important that you went to such great pains to call me here? I find it hard to believe that there is anything useful that could be born from a discussion between you and me. Unless you've changed your mind, have you finally decided to work together? No, actually, my mind hasn't changed at all. Then why am I here? Is there something I want to tell you? Is this to be a confession of your love? I've been thinking on it for a while, about how you must be feeling, and what you want. Wait just a moment, don't tell me you want to dive into the intricacies of what makes me tick. Maybe we'll get to that in time. But just for now, I just want you to listen. I have no idea that you had such an ego. Fine, go ahead. First, I want to apologize. I said you were nothing like Telia, and it hurt your feelings. I'm not trying to take back what I said. You're not like Telia. I'm just trying to figure out how to phrase this right. Similarities and differences between you and her, I think I was looking at them wrong way. Do you pay attention to the words that come out of your mouth? You need to stop being so damn nice all the time. Anyone who sees me will think I'm Telia. There's no hiding it. I was made in her image. I'm sure even you expected something out of me when we first met. And I hate that so much, Natella. You try so hard to be kind to everyone you meet. 
Remember this, in time, that kindness will haunt you. There's nothing more cruel than a kindness that approaches you with a knowing look on its face. You in particular who flaunts it around and then chases me down with it. No, you've got it all wrong. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. Are you really so clueless that you... That may not be your intention, but that is the outcome. I never should have come here. Nothing good comes from talking to you. He isn't finished. Do I look like I care? There's no need for us to talk anymore. I'm sorry, Attila. Please be patient with me. You're right. Whenever, whatever I have to say is probably just lip service to you. I can't help it. Since I try so hard to be nice all the time, as you say. But I still need you to listen. So I'll look the other way. Would you look at this tree for me? Yes, it's tree. Made of tree. Yes, it's very pretty. What does that have to do with anything? This tree was hit by lightning and burned down. Way back when. Is it still here for burned down? The townsfolks got together and grafted it. You stuck another tree to it? So it isn't the same tree as before, technically. It isn't? Who's to say which one of the two trees is blooming here? The tree that burned down or the one that we, we used to bring it back to life? How am I supposed to know? Perhaps if I dissected it and analyzed its genetic makeup. I don't think it matters, personally. And why is that? The tree that is here now is blooming, despite how harsh its history. It still blooms beautifully. Did you think there's some value in that, Attila? It's just like you. I want to accept this tree for what it is. As I do with you, what's in your heart, your emotions. You are who you are. I am who I am. Laugh at him. Laugh at him. What I mean to say is, I'm not denying who you are. Whether you're Atelia or Atella, that shouldn't be a gauge for who you are as an individual. You are you. I think everyone inside you, I think everything inside you is yours, and yours alone. I'm sure it must be difficult to change your way of life so suddenly, but you're continuing down your own path, the one you choose for yourself. That's what I think anyways. So, you really are too kind for your own good. Atelier really seemed to feel that part of you was something worth admiring. Ugh, I must say I'm surprised. Can some things really be saved with Empty platitudes. Are you done? I am. Thank goodness, I thought I was going to die from boredom. Can I leave? By all means. Good. Ta-ta. Just bursts into flames. Or walks away, whatever. I'm just saying bursting into flames would have been a dramatic exit. I wonder if you made any difference. Who knows, but I think I got my point across. Thank you for sticking with me, Absurdum. I have no clue what Tilda's going to do next, but I believe she's going to do what's right for her. She's conquer the world. Let's call it a day. If anything happens, I'll send you a letter. A renewed arrow horn. Fair enough. See, we could get a fair amount of fishing done. There's there's some funny places we haven't gone fishing yet, though. Let's get out of here. That's not what I wanted. Or we could go to do her last thing, which I think sounds nice. It might be on the other side of the world, but that's okay. Actually, let's not. Let's explore out this way a bit now that we can traverse new places. Like I should be able to get to the water up there. I feel like there's a lot of exploration I haven't done that I should be able to do. Here? Is this, is this where? A hidden cave! Okay, looks just like the other hidden cave. Fair enough. Renewed... Earth orb recipe. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
10 recipes, kind of fun. So I imagine we're going to the temple. Actually, before we do that, let's go to the general store before it closes. I'm sure there's things that we could buy, even if it's just little potato seeds. Should I buy another tree? So I want to be in the spot where they're not all ready. Yeah. Ready in six days, that's plenty of time. We could just try to make a profit off of these. We should get 40 apiece if we bought these. Wanna wander into the next uh, season big. Big. You know, just like we do in Stardew. Not scraping by like we did this time. Sir, thank you for coming. As I wrote in my letter, I have been formally inaugurated as a matriarch of the Seas Light Order. Congrats. Thanks. The Holy Mother and I are working together on how to move forward. Confusion with the Order may have settled down, but there is still a mountain of work ahead of us. The sect of the Anti-Mother has also grown silent, but uh, the mark they left still remains the same. As it turns out, I'm far busier now than I ever anticipated. You sure you have time to talk? I have something important I wish to speak with you about, so I made time. I spoke to a number of clergymen during my inauguration, explaining that I do not intend to end my expeditions outside of the capital just because I'm the matriarch. So you want to keep traveling with us? Good, because you're not allowed to leave. It's certainly unconventional. It's certainly unconventional. I may be the first matriarch to do so. But there's so much of the world I wish I would miss by remaining within the temple. Which is why I mustn't allow my position to stop me from traveling and broadening my horizons. In order for us to change the world for the better, the order must also change. Traveling only becomes all the more necessary as I embrace my role as matriarch. It is what I told them, and to my surprise, they were all incredibly supportive. Supportive how? Of course, I can't ask someone to take on the position of the matriarch in my absence, but as long as everyone does their part, accepting help when the times are tough and offering help to those in need. We can combine our efforts across the order. Everyone will improve for the better. That was the teachings or something, right? Change requires time, but I believe it's something we can do. With the abundance of goodwill, anyone can change. I hope it works or something. As do I. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, since I'll be counting, I'll be continuing my duties as missionary for the Order, I will travel alongside you as well. It will be the same as it was before. If you're ever in need of my assistance, don't hesitate to contact me. If I had been able to do this from the beginning, perhaps sites would have changed too. So, wait, we are where is he? Sites is in a cell. I don't think it will be coming out of there for a while. But when he does, I believe he will repent for a sentence. Okay, sure. That's what you really think. There's no motive to do that, but yeah, whatever. I didn't lose him this time. Closest friend, my family. Not silently, even though she's not looking. The truth is, dealing with his eminence was painful. I understand Kirkusgard was an enemy of humanity and that we had to destroy him. But still, it wasn't easy to do. Sometimes it's hard because it's right. It was difficult because it was the right choice. I do like the way that you look at things. Reality isn't always what it seems. I know it's not much, but Seminus and Sites and everyone within the Order. If we can all live in peace, then that will be enough. But that isn't the way of the world just yet. There's so much, still so much I don't know. 
so many people who need a phone. I can't ignore that. You have a kind heart. I think you have me beat there, Absurdum. But I won't give up. Ever since I was orphaned and saw only evil in the world, I craved light in order to live. A light of hope for tomorrow. Without light, flowers cannot bloom. Humans are no different. This is what I believe. And so, I will continue to fight. Things blinding. I will fight to bring even a little sunlight into this world. Flower girl. And we got about 20% and some lightning stones. Not bad. I'm sure we'll get another uh, follow-up letter from her. It's nice to have some of these people kind of maxed out. But that feels real good. Real close to Hein. I expect a letter from him soon. And then Estina in probably a couple days as well. Uh, where is Braca? We haven't heard from him at all. I don't know why we're so stalled out with him. It must be something we do later chapters of the game or something to that effect. Alright, let's plant some things. Because we can. Maybe. There we go. We don't get these all planned today. I think there's still plenty of time. Was it four days? Three days? Six days? So. We can always double it up if need be. Didn't finish it. Whoops. Finish carving these out. I left this place kind of a mess. Well, potatoes, probably my favorite like word ever. And these spots are open, correct? So we got a fair amount done. It's crazy how large this farm has gotten, though. Crazy exciting. Let's go to the cave. There should be pretty easy to throw all these out real quick. squeeze out as much money as we can from the end of the season. We have them. Ooh. I might have bought a little more than we needed, but that's all right. We'll use them eventually. So let's take a look at things we don't need on us right now. So we were kind of all over the world today. Uh, yeah, I should have planted that. We'll keep it on us. Try to remember in the future. Easier said than done. Oof. Um, it would been really nice to plant that. I imagine there's going to be something relatively soon. Uh, 
Well, potatoes should be ready tomorrow, and then we can plant it somewhere. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. It'll all work out. Just gotta, just gotta remember to do it, that's all. Hopefully we have enough potatoes planted, too. We need to cook some more. God, we need to cook a lot more. Oh, boy. I just don't know anything good to, like, isn't easy to cook other than this stir-fry. I mean, just for, like, numbers, right? Cook five of them. Pretty much just doing it just for the chivos, you know. It's alright, I guess. That's a okay. We did actually level up. I don't really remember fighting anything, but apparently it was just enough experience to get us ticked over. Look at that plus two on attributes. Very nice. We did okay in money today. Uh, we did more than okay. We did twenty grand. Which is good because I spent a lot of money. Um, very nice. I spent a lot of money uh, buying new recipe, uh, seeds for things. So see, seeing that feels pretty good. It's back up to almost forty grand. Also puts us at the end of the episode. Really does mean everything to me that you guys take time out of your day to watch my content. It blows my mind that people actually get excited and do just that. So thank you to everyone who does make time to watch my content. Uh, please leave a comment. It's always great to hear from somebody about what I'm doing and what they think of the game. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, because that means a lot to me, too. It's really, really encouraging and great to watch the channel grow, so thank you to everyone who is subscribed. Regardless, though, I hope you guys take care of yourself. Please have a safe day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.